Hi guys, it's Farm Your Bonanza Extra again, carrying on with our Python programming tutorials. And today I'm going to be teaching you about variables and the print command, hopefully. So we're going to open up the Python IDLE. Now we're going to be putting all our code in here today, seeing as it's a lot easier, easier to uh, do tutorials rather than do it in the new window because it's a lot quicker. Now there are three main types of variables there are strings, there are integers and there are floats. Now strings are a uh, something that contains a line of characters whether it be um, whether it be letters, numbers, but it is a line of characters generally. Uh, an integer is a whole number so it can't contain any sort of decimal point otherwise it would not be an integer. And a float is a number that contains a decimal point so it can be anything that contains a decimal point. So we set a equal to um, dog. We set b equal to 12, and we set c equal to 0 0.31. All these will have different types. This one will be set as a string. This one will be set as an integer, and this one will be set as a float. Now, a good thing with Python is you don't have to declare the uh, variable type it automatically sets the variable to whatever type um, you put in here so if you put in here a number it will set a to an integer if you put in here a uh, decimal point it will set this to a float value just to test this you can type in type two parentheses and then the name of the variable you want to test so a it comes up with class string and just to do this with another one we type in type uh, C and it tells you it's a float value because it contains a decimal point. Now this can be used in many different types of applications uh, and we're going to move on to the print statement now. So a print statement is a statement that uh, prints a line of characters onto the screen. So if you were to type print and parentheses now the versions of Python 3.x um, are different to versions of Python 2.x because 2.x had an option where you could just put print and then two um, uh, quotations. However, Python 3.3 requires two parentheses as it is a function now. And it requires two quotations and then whatever you want to print. And this would print the word dog on the console's screen. See? Now print um, can be used to print any type of numbers. So a number doesn't require any quotations because it is an integer. Now I'll print 1. You can also print mathematical equations. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. I'll be doing mathematical equations in the next tutorial. What you can also do is print out variables. Now, we've declared some variables up here at the top. So a equals dog, b equals 12, c equals 0 0.31. So we could type in print a, and it'll print out dog. We could type in print b, print out 12. And same with print uh, c, it'll print out 0 0.31, because these are the values that we set up here with these three. You can also print out um, stuff with either double quotations or single quotations. This is a brilliant feature that not many other languages have. Um, this is brilliant because say you did something like Callum oh, Callum said rat. Now this word gives you a syntax error because it only recognizes this which is contained within two quotation marks. This it recognises as a variable because it's not contained with anything, and there's not a variable called rat, so it doesn't print that on the screen. But say you to print single quotations, Callum said double quotations, rat. That would uh, recognise rat as a part of the statement and print it on the screen as well. Now what you can also do is you can print out. Um, the same sort of thing, but with a thing called an escape character. 
So basically if you put this in and you put a backslash in front of these two here, anything contained within this area here would be part of the string. So you could put rat in here and it would still recognize it as part of the string. Um, you can also print stuff like new lines. So you can print Callum uh, backslash n space rat and it'll print Callum and then on the new line it will print rat because this backslash n is the symbol for new line. You can also print out um, anything that has a backslash. It could be backslash g maybe. That probably won't be anything but we'll have a look. No, it's not anything because it prints out just the statement. But sometimes you get a thing that actually has a function inbuilt into Python. Just play around with that, and you'll eventually find some different things. That's about it for the uh, print command today, guys. Hopefully, in the next tutorial, we'll get onto the mathematical side of things, and uh, hopefully, I'll be uh, seeing you next time.